Great. Uh, welcome back again. All right. So, um, so today um, I'm trying something a little bit different. Uh, I actually took a lot of time preparing slides, and so I and I actually don't know um, if all that time was worth it. So you, the audience, is going to have to tell me was it worth it or was it not me putting all that time into the slides that I'll be presenting today. So now um, I, uh, you know added pictures, I did all this stuff, and I'm not quite sure um, if I'll have enough things to talk about because they're all in individual slides. It takes a lot of time. So we'll see um, how fast we cover the subject and how thorough we are with it. Hopefully we're very thorough and it's very simple and that um, these complex terms make a lot more sense by the end of our talk. All right, um, so... I'm not sure what's, what's being displayed and what people can see or not. Um, so uh, we'll just go with it and, and see how it goes. So we're gonna um, start uh, again with reinforcement and understanding what reinforcement is, what punishment is. And today we're really getting into the topics of positive and negative reinforcement and punishment and what those terms actually mean. So um, we mentioned it a, a couple of talks ago about how the terminology that we use in the behavioral field is very different from the um, everyday usage of that same um, terminology, okay? And so in everyday life, when people talk about reinforcement, it generally refers to something that we do, okay? That's going to um, promote something. So that means that we want something to happen. And at the end of the day, what we're trying to do is we're intending like, oh, let's hope that what I do results in the behavior increasing. With punishment, it's the same. It's something that we intend, we do, okay? Anything that we do that is really intended to um, change a behavior, right? And the intention for any kind of punishment is to get rid of that behavior. Example of that's like, oh, yelling at somebody, right? Like, oh, you're, cri you're criticizing somebody, you're yelling at them. No, that wasn't a good job. You didn't do a good job, you know. So, so that's one, right? Or a typical one for a lot of parents is using the process of time out, which is like, oh, your child did something wrong. So you take them uh, away, you have them sit in the seat, and they're sitting in their seat, not doing anything for um, roughly a minute for how old they are. And that's a punishment for what they did. Again, it's about our intentions, about what we want to happen, you know? So, oh, our intentions are to increase a behavior, our intentions are to decrease a behavior. But what you'll find out is that we are not really good about looking at what really happens to stuff. You know, we get comfortable doing things that we call reinforcement, and we get comfortable doing things that we call punishment that actually don't have its intended effects. You can even think back to your own childhood about the things that your parents used to do to you, right? Um, when you did things well and how they um, interacted with you when you did things uh, poorly and how they interacted with you in that instance, you know? And uh, especially, I think it's easy to recall in our own minds, those times when our parents kept on using the same punishment, hoping that it would get us to stop doing certain things, but did it ever really stop? So um, now for most of us, it didn't, it wasn't very effective, but our parents kept on doing it. You know, if your parents were effective with you, with those things, then good for them. And, you know, you might be one of the more compliant people that I know of. So um, one of the uh, moms that I, I'm uh, working with, um, for a long time, any time that the child did anything, she would get very upset by what the child did. She would yell at him, she would scream at him. Sometimes she'd spank him. She'd do all of these kind of things, you know? And yet the child's behaviors continue to persist. The mom's feeling was, oh, I'm punishing him. 
He can't like me yelling at him. He can't like me doing this or doing that. I don't even like it myself, but I do it because I want him to stop engaging in this behavior. So the intent always with these kind of um, consequences are to get rid of this child's behaviors, okay? But we're talking about a child now that's getting closer to an adult and they've learned over time that the attention that they get for it is much more enjoyable than the, any of the consequences. The yelling is the thing that's reinforcing the behavior. They're getting the attention that they were looking for. Any interactions that you're doing with your kids right now, whether it be reinforcement or punishment, if, if, if you're punishing your child, hoping for that the behavior goes away, and you've been using the same type of punishers throughout this time and the behavior is still there, it's ineffective. If it's ineffective, then what do you need to do is change what you're doing. Now we're gonna shift away from what everyday use of these terms are from reinforcement to punishment to what it means in behavioral terms. So, Whereas in everyday life, we're looking at the intention of somebody, all right? Like, oh, I want something to happen. I want the behavior to go up. I want the behavior to go down. That's more in everyday life. Behavioral terms only look at the results of what's happened, all right? Has the behavior actually increased or has it decreased or stopped completely? Behaviorally speaking, any time that you talk about reinforcement, a behavior has increased. Reinforcement also refers to the maintenance of certain behaviors, meaning like we talked about how we don't do things for no reason at all, okay? And that when we do things, it always has a reason behind why we're doing it. Okay, so reinforcement also refers to behaviors remaining at a certain level because those behaviors, in order for them to continue to occur, are being reinforced in some way. We're talking about punishment, then we're talking about the exact opposite results, okay? That when we're, when we're looking at punishment, it's that a behavior has decreased. It has nothing to do with intentions. It only deals with what has actually happened to the behavior. Has it gone up? Has it gone down? Or has it stopped completely? Okay. So when the behavior goes down or stops completely, then punishment has occurred. Behaviors go up, it's reinforcement. Behaviors go down, it's punishment. So all of these things are results driven. It's about what actually happens to the behavior, not what we want to happen to the behavior. So it doesn't matter if I say hi to you and you slap me across the face and I keep on saying hi to you. Because I keep on saying hi to you, that slap was reinforcement. Anytime behaviors go up or remain the same, it's reinforcement. Anytime behaviors go down or stop completely, it's punishment. So the intention of something does not matter. It's the results that determine whether something is reinforcement or punishment. Okay? So here, let's say that we're talking about a behavior like um, shaking hands. Okay, Not very good in the COVID-19 er uh, era, but um, let's just take that as a behavior that we're looking at. Okay, so let's, every time that I reach out to shake your hand, you punch me in the face hard, okay? But then I keep on shaking your hand every single time, okay? The behavior has gone up. It doesn't matter if your intention is to get me to stop doing it. If I keep on shaking your hand, it's reinforcement. Take uh, the same um, behavior again, which is shaking hands. And the first couple of times we meet, 
we shake hands and then you're so nice you give me an ice cream oh oh that's super nice and then from that point on every time you uh put your hand out to shake my hand i stop shaking your hand okay it doesn't matter if you gave me the ice cream with the intent of getting me to be better about shaking hands it only matters that i stop shaking your hand in which case that process that event is called punishment now we got through the easy part okay like so reinforcement punishment that's the easy part now we're going to get into something a little bit more complicated and it's complicated for even students um, who study um, aba yeah. so we're going to talk and dip our feet into what positive and negative mean when it refers to reinforcement and punishment. And this is where it gets complicated because again, we're running into uh, everyday terminology. And in everyday terminology, positive usually means something good. Hey, I graduated, I'm getting married, I had a baby, you know, like something good happened to us. Negative in everyday life generally means something bad. Oh my God, I lost the game, all right? Oh, I got into a car crash or there was a death in the family or death with a loved one. Positive in the medical field means you have something, right? Like, oh, I'm pregnant, yay! You know, like, oh, it's positive. It tested positive. It means you have something. Negative means you don't have that thing. So, oh my God, thank God I tested negative for COVID-19. So that's why positive and negative lead to so much confusion because they could literally mean anything depending on the field or the area that you're in. And um, so we're here to kind of clear it up in terms of in behavioral terms, what does positive and negative mean specifically to reinforcement and punishment? Oh, to make it really easy, positive just means something got added to the environment. Good, was it bad? Stop. No, no, there's no good or bad associated with this one, okay? Positive and negative in these terms, positive only means something was added, okay? Not something good, not something bad, that something was added to the environment. Negative means that something was taken away from the environment. Right, so positive means something was added, negative means something was taken away. Now, this leads us to positive reinforcement. What does positive reinforcement mean? It means that positive, something was added to environment that resulted in a behavior increasing. Negative reinforcement means that something was taken away, removed from the environment, and that resulted in an increase of a behavior. Negative reinforcement is by and far the most challenging and confusing term for most people because they see negative and they assume it's bad. Okay. And so they so what they see is negative reinforcement. Oh, that must mean it's bad reinforcement or that I'm I'm doing something to get rid of a behavior. No, 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 no. All right. Negative in this instance only means that something was taken out of the environment that resulted in the behavior increasing.